you did a good jujitsu counter. Guys, one of the best moves, uh, it's very simple, but it's very effective, is a guillotine choke from the uh, from no gi. You know, the guy's got my neck, he's on bottom, he locks his feet around my waist, he's just got my neck, he's gonna lift his hips up, he's gonna crank my neck back, he's gonna tap me out, can't put me to sleep or, or something, okay? Look, the guy has my neck, all right? Whether he had my neck and he jumped to guard or he was in guard and he got my neck, it doesn't matter, all right? Before he has a good hold, I'm gonna pull out, obviously. But sometimes he's got a good hold and he's super deep in there, all right? And I have to be able to deal with that, okay? He's gonna use his right arm to guillotine me. It's gonna come around my neck. He's gonna take his left hand, grab here. My neck's gonna be tight in there. I'm gonna have a lot of problems with this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take my right arm and I'm gonna hug around his whole body. I'm not gonna put it in front of his neck because that's not gonna stop him from scooting, uh, from arching up and choking me out. I have to hug him. Think about why a guy uh, pushes you away because it stretches your neck and he can turn it to one side or the other. So that's what he's trying to do, okay? So me, when I hug the guy, it keeps him from pushing me away, okay? So uh, I'll hug first and, I'll, and I'm gonna put a lot of my shoulder into his neck, okay? Like bury it there so that I'm gonna breathe here. My first thing again is to survive. That's what I'm looking for, okay? Uh, if it's MMA and he's got a guillotine and I'm surviving, my left hand again starts pounding the ribs, breaking those ribs one after the other. If it's a uh, guillotine grappling, I, I'll, I'll show you how to slowly get out, but it, it's hard to get out, okay? Guys, me in a guillotine. Look, one, two, I'm in trouble here. If I do nothing, go ahead and squeeze. That taps me out, real easy. Stead here, look at my right arm. Hugs around him, okay? He starts to squeeze, I lay on the guy. Look, all my weight on him here, a lot of weight, okay? I hug him and I put my weight on my opponent, just like this. See my shoulder dumps on him? If, if I'm troubled, my left hand can also grab here, okay? I cannot have this guy scoot away from me, okay? Sometimes like this too, Sometimes a guy, what he'll do is uh, crank my neck to the side, start turning sideways, and it's uncomfortable for me, okay? So what I'll do on something like that, I'll do something simple. I'll take my left hand, put it on my chin, okay? So when he cranks it, go ahead and crank. It doesn't work anymore, okay? Hug him, wait. This keeps him from pushing me away with his body. Go ahead, push away, I stay on him. Look, 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 look. If he, if he starts turning to me to the side, here, turn, turn, squeeze, nothing happens, okay? MMA, when I get comfortable, boom, boom, I start striking, okay? Other stuff here, keep my weight on the guy, keep my weight on the guy, take your left hand, if you're comfortable, come between, here, get out, okay? So what you wanna do, remember, the first thing, you're in a bad position, you put yourself in a bad position by letting him get a very deep guillotine. Don't try to rush out of it. Make him uncomfortable. Put all your weight, come up to your feet a little bit, on his neck with your shoulder. This arm here, it doesn't grab the back of his neck. It goes all the way to over his shoulder, like uh, top of his back, and it hugs the guy. Because what he wants to do is scoot me away and stretch me out, make me pass out, uh, or a combination of that and turning sideways to make it a very deep neck crank. I have to be able to survive this. Have guys put you in a guillotine and you learn how to be comfortable. It's not going to be hard. You're going to tap out sometimes until you find your comfort zone, but you have to do it, okay? The guy is going to have me hug and don't just hug. All my weight goes to his, my shoulder on his neck. I hug and I pull myself as close to him as I can, okay? If you start getting your neck crank, take your left hand, put it right on your chin so that here it stops, see? My elbow's here by his hip. It's very hard for him to finish me off of here. I stay here. Okay, and then when I'm very comfortable, my left hand starts digging its way up by my head and I start to back out. Or if there's striking involved, you have to give good shots to the extended rib. Same spot, over. Uh, turn your knuckles a little bit. Get those knuckles in there, get those knuckles in there. Not flat, but knuckles like this, this way, this way, okay? So, guy has me in a guillotine. Look, 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 look. Notice I have both arms. Hug, hand goes here. Weight goes here on the guy. Look, this is where I want to be here. If I get in trouble with him squeezing, here. Squeeze, squeeze. No problem. My knuckles here. Strike, strike. 
this way, uppercut, strike, work, work, okay? If not, left hand here, starts coming in between his hand, coming between his hand. Might take you a while to get out with that one. Might, you might have to be there for a little bit and slowly, and you're in no hurry. Let this guy use the strength, and you're just using your weight to get out. That's ultimately what jiu-jitsu is about. Okay, let's take a look at one of the counters that's uh, very prolific in MMA today. Not, not the counter, but the attack, okay? A lot of times the guy has your back, and you know, we've all seen the hooks in here with the back, and, and you're trying to scoot to one side and, and get out, you know, shrimp out as quick as you can. Sometimes what the guy does is he does a figure four on your back. And if you'll notice off of the figure four, go ahead and get a figure four here. Look, he's got me figure four, okay? Now this is a problem for me because I literally can't move. This is so tight. Sometimes what a guy will do is like grab my upper body and he'll just lift his hips up and there's so much pain. It hurts my spine. It hurts my kidneys, my stomach. And, and like I said, it's, it's hard for me to get out. So I'm, I'm having an issue with this here, okay? So what I'm gonna do from here is look at one of the counters that, that might work. Okay, anytime a guy has my back, the first thing I'm thinking of is defend my neck. See my hand position? Shouldn't be down here working on his legs. I'm gonna get tapped out, okay? My hand position is here, like this. I don't let hands come through. I don't care. He's got me in a good position. I'm not gonna let the hands come through here. Or the secondary one is here. And it's pretty much you pick, you know, which one you, you prefer, here or here. Look, like this, okay? What I'm gonna do, if he's behind me like this, is I'm gonna lay down on top of this leg here, okay? And it's not gonna change anything. If he opens his legs at this point, I'm gonna keep shrimping out. I'm gonna put my right shoulder on the ground, turning this way. I'm gonna scoot, 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 and get out. But here the guy still has me, and he's still working on my neck. He's not even concerned about this, okay? Now I'm gonna take my left leg, and I'm gonna come over his foot like this. Okay, now it's important that you understand that I'm not trying to take my leg and come in on the outside and, and, and necessarily doing this, okay? I'm taking my leg, I'm going the easy way, and I'm stepping over, over here, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is bring my foot back, and I'm gonna lift my hips up as I continue my left leg to kick back down, okay? Like this, and I'm still defending, look. And he taps out, okay? One more time. A lot of pain, I'm gonna break this foot. As a matter of fact, at that point, the guy probably wishes he could let go, because he's like, he can't believe it. He's on my back, he's a, he thinks he's in a good position, and all of a sudden he realizes he can't even unlock his legs, and his feet are gonna break, so he's tapping out when he thinks he's in a good position, okay? So when the guy has me again, here, figure four, doesn't matter what side, okay? I don't wanna do this move, okay, see his legs here? I don't wanna lay to this side, and do this move because it makes it a lot harder. I don't have the correct, look, angle. See, I'm doing everything right, but it doesn't work for me. I want to definitely have my hips. I'm just gonna fall to that side. Whether he's up here attacking me or whatever, I'm just gonna fall. Look, I fell. See, I'm on top of this leg here. This leg's trapped. Stay patient, okay? My leg comes over his leg here. It steps over it. I hook it. And the reason I hook it is because I don't want it to slip out, okay, like this. Here, foot comes towards me, and I, see, I keep this hook so he doesn't escape. Now what I'm going to do is lift my hips up and uh, continue to maybe go down, depending on his flexibility, okay? And the guy taps here, look, a lot of pain here. He can't get out. He's going to break. If this does happen to open up because he didn't have a good lock, that's fine. I'm going to get my back here. I'm going to start to come out this way, okay? Try this counter. Uh, Technically, it's going to be one of your favorite ones, you know. It's just something, uh, another escape that is going to make you more technical. Okay, guys, let's take a look at this. It's very, very important that we know how to get out of leg locks, okay? I'm going to show you one of my favorite counters, okay? Guys, on bottom here, I'm trying to pass his guard, and uh, he's going to do a leg lock attack, uh, foot lock or probably a heel hook is what he's going to set up from this, okay? I stepped in the wrong spot or he came under with this leg. Look, all of a sudden, yeah, he comes over and if I stay here, maybe he makes his hook, whatever, and if I if I get off balance like this, look, he gets me in a heel hook, he starts to turn it, and I tap out, okay? Very uh, painful lesson here for me, okay? What I want to do when this leg comes over is take a step with this foot this way. If I just want to get out, I walk out, I yank, I drag my leg out, my right leg, which was in trouble, I run. 
I yank out of there, and that's probably the biggest uh, escape you're going to see in uh, fighting and in MMA circles or grappling tournaments. The guy turns, he pivots, and he yanks out. But we're going to take it one step further today, okay? If I can get to that position and if I can get comfortable, let's see how I can uh, maybe uh, make him pay for trying to footlock me, okay? He's here. Same position here. Now, if I can, I step. Notice how I keep my left leg posted up, and notice how I have all my weight on him, so I'm sitting here. Now, even though he's still heel hooking me, go ahead. It doesn't do anything. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. It doesn't do anything to me. Look, it, it, I'm, I'm very comfortable here, okay? Because he doesn't have the correct angle. If I should start to fall and something goes wrong because I lost my balance here, then I'm just going to scramble. Always I can scramble out, okay? But look at, look at the things, the possibilities now that I have. I stepped over, I toe hold this guy, and I tapped him. The, the leg is right here. Look, if it's out here, I'm not going to go find it because I'm not going to get it. But if it happens to be right here, see his hip turned that way a little bit? I have a toe hold. My right hand on the toes. Left hand comes under, figure four, and I go for the break. Okay? That's number one. Okay? Sometimes not as easy to get this. Okay? The guy keeps defending. He pushes his leg out. Whatever. Look. See what I mean? He keeps, doesn't let me have this. Okay? Or, or the leg just isn't in the right spot for whatever reason. Okay? So what I'm going to do from here, remember, find your balance here. I'm sitting all my weight on him. Um, I'm ready to scramble out if I get in trouble. Okay? Find your balance. But now let's, let, let's make this uh, something good happen here. I'm going to take my left hand. I'm going to wrap up his leg here. Okay? See what I just did? Now what I'm going to do is put my right knee and I'm going to put it towards the ground. Towards the ground. Post with your left hand. Both knees on the ground. And like in the leg lock tape we did, I start opening my legs up and I tap this guy out. Okay? Take a look at that again. He's got me, uh, he's got my leg. All right? If, if this guy has a hook here, I can't step back, so I have to be careful with this one, okay? If I start to turn, I might fall down and give him a heel hook, okay? Try to not let him have this. Step before he gets it, okay? If I get in trouble here, now sometimes I'm yanking this leg off and I'm trying to pivot myself back into him, okay? But if this happens also, another look, go ahead. He's got a hook here. Take your hands, push down on the shin immediately, take a step, okay? My hands, both my hands, immediately push down on his shin, low, right by his uh, ankle, in front of it, okay? And they push down immediately, and that just released the hook for that split second, and I take the step over. Ready to attack here, or grab this. Remember, the angle he's in, he's going to maybe still be working on a heel hook, but because the angle is not right for him, it's not going to work. Hand goes on the ground. Right knee goes on the ground. Left knee goes on the ground, legs start to open up wide, hips forward, hips forward, hips forward. I tap this guy out. Great counter to a heel hook, one that uh, will have your opponent think twice about trying to heel hook you again.